anyway, okay, well, Jade, it's one o'clock. Um, so let's maybe just jump in if you're cool with that. Yes, of course. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Um, my name's Wendy. I uh, run Raise the Vibe Initiative. And basically what that is, uh, is I'm creating a platform just kind of to bring out some conscious business owners, um, messaging, just uh, really kind of 5D or cool ideas and products and, and people. Um, and so we really want to focus a lot on health and wellness. Uh, we do some holistic uh, beauty and, and we talk a lot um, with, with different types of professionals, uh, deal with personal development and, and uh, all those kinds of things. So I have a wonderful guest with me today and friend of mine, Jade Michelli. And she has a really cool topic to bring out. Um, Jade is a holistic health enthusiast and a hydration specialist. And she believes that water is the most overlooked topic today in health. And I would have to agree with that. Um, so today, Jade is going to talk a little bit about Kangen water and just some water education. Um, letting you know, I'm certainly interested. She she shared with me a whole bunch of stuff yesterday that was like kind of mind blowing. <laughs> and I guess for you, Jade, it seems very normal. But for a lot of people, you know, we we don't necessarily understand the power of water and how it affects our health and you know all those kinds of things. So. Without further ado, Jade, um, maybe I'll just pass it over to you and you can say hello, tell us a little bit about yourself and Kangen. Okay, thank you so much for hosting this today. I love what you're doing. Um, I think that uh, you're bringing a lot of awareness for a lot of important topics into the world. And um, yeah, water has been... Um, in the Kangen water has been in my life for the last five years is when I got my, um, it's a, what it is, is a Japanese medical grade water ionizer. Mm -hmm. And it's about the size of a toaster and it sits on your counter and you hook it up to your kitchen tap. And what it does is it, uh, it takes away the bad in the water. So the additives, like the toxic chemicals that we really shouldn't be ingesting um, that are hard on our bodies to process and on our kidneys and our liver. Like we shouldn't really be consuming chlorine and sodium hydroxide and uh, the pharmaceuticals that, you know, people, a lot of people are on medications these days and it is, you know, going into our water supply and it's just kind of, it's, it, there's traces of it in our drinking water. And uh, so this, this technology has been around for a, a long time and the company that makes the device is um, called Enagic and they're a 48 year old company. And they actually created this water to replicate, um, there's different places in the world that the waters are known to be very healing for the people that live in the villages and communities that are, are surround them. Um, and what happens is that the, glacier runoff water would hit um, the rocks, the boulders coming down uh, and land into like a waterfall basin. And then the people in those villages would collect those waters and they would be known to live for a very long time, like well into their hundreds with hardly any, um, they wouldn't even need doctors to be in their villages because they would be just naturally healthy. So they studied the properties of the water and they found that there was something called molecular hydrogen in the water, which is uh, the small, uh, hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe. So it is able to penetrate into our cells at an intercellular level. And it, what it does is it removes toxins that are in our bodies. So the world we're living in today, we are consuming an abundance of acidic uh, beverages dead water, uh, some of the bottled waters that people are actually buying thinking they're making a healthier choice, they are acidic right out of the bottle if you check the pH on them. So this was very interesting to me when, when this came up into my reality. I, I wanted to study it. I wanted to, I wa I've watched hundreds of videos over the years. And my first thing was I, I wanted to debunk this if it was not true. But then I also wanted to know what is the healthiest water to drink because it made sense to me that all water is not equal. 
so, okay, so you've mentioned acidic. Yes. So can you maybe just touch a little bit more on what that, what that yes. looks like and, and yeah, what that means? Okay, so uh, a pH um, is you have like the acidic side um, and then you have the alkaline side. So um, disease and sickness thrive in an, an acidic environment. So we want to be counteracting that by consuming alkalized, alkaline things. So when you, we, when we eat, um, you know, an orange or an apple just picked from a tree, it is, it's living off the tree. So it will have a negative charge to it because it's living. The longer that it's, you know, as it starts aging and oxidizing after it's picked, that's why they say to, you know, try and eat local like around your area that hasn't you know come from the other side of the world and been trucked in because the 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 um quicker you're eating it from when it's being picked it might still have that negative charge which it means it's an antioxidant which means it's anti-aging so so this water the properties of this water is, are that it's it is anti-aging because it's full of antioxidants like one, one glass of Kangen water is the equivalent of drinking, of eating like a gallon of blueberries, antioxidant wise. Okay. Oh. So, <laughs> yes. So, um, so it is very healing for the body and like, I can't make medical claims, but I will tell you that, um, over the years, um, after I got my machine, I started giving my, the water away and telling people about these machines and, and getting them into others' homes. And then I started hearing their stories of what this water was doing for the family members that were drinking off the machine. And, and it was like everything that I was, had seen online, I started seeing in real life for people I knew their testimonies. So this, this company does not pay anybody to endorse endorsement uh, fees, like to say that they drink the water. It is only, it's solely sold through people and testimony alone, which I really like. Like I, I like that, um, that that's how their business model is. Like it's, it's, you know, the truth will always, you know, win in the end. So you can mark like, and then I learned how the internet worked. Right. So the first thing I did when I was deciding whether I was going to get myself a machine was I, I Googled uh, King and water and it came up, uh, snake oil scam. And then I realized that the competitors, which aren't really competitors now that I understand how our machines are made compared to the other companies that make ionizers. Um, they, they pay to be at the top of the Google list. So because the magic will not participate in that, you will, they're not, they just know that the testimony alone of the people that know this to be true is stronger than a, comp, a, a competitor paying to be at the top of the list and bash a, a magic. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah. So, well, so there are other search engines, like if, uh, the medical um, term for Kangen water, it's, it's actually called electrolyzed redu reduced water and reduced meaning that nothing is added to this water um it's it's the 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 bad stuff has been taken away and then the byproduct of the electrolysis because the the machines they have uh uh titanium plates that are double dipped in medical grade platinum so the water runs over those plates and then the water separates and then it makes the water molecule from the alkaline hose that we are now drinking from, it makes it uh, a much smaller molecule so that it's able to penetrate into our cells um, easier so that it gives us optimum hydration. So we are bet better hydrated with this water, like 85% um, hydration opposed to like 15% for if you're drinking tap water or bottled water. And you are drinking an alkalized water, so it's not acidic, okay? And um, it's an antioxidant, so it's, it's neutralizing free radicals in your body and oxidative stress and inflammation. And inflammation and oxidative stress are, are harmful, and that's not good to have your, you in a chronic state of that in your body, right? So you want, we want to be um, like constantly putting into our body uh alkaline foods and and beverages mm -hmm. 
in the perfect well i know you have quite the garden you're you are very, very <laughs> old person like you i see that you really live it on i try which is amazing um so what, what would, would be the difference between like if you you know a tap water and kangen water beside each other what do the differences look like okay so tap water is chemically altered to appear that it's alkaline um so it will sh turn up blue in color but i have a, a this reader called an orp meter which is orp stands for oxidation reduction potential so when i put this meter into the tap water it has a positive charge of i believe around 400 okay so it's it's even though it's appearing to look like it's because it's chemically altered you can you can make something look like it's alkaline by adding say baking soda in it um you can but when the electrical change happens after it runs through the machine and i put that orp meter into the kangen water I'm drinking something that's negative. Negative means is actually good in this case. It, that's the antioxidants that I'm talking about. So it's, it's anywhere from negative 400 to negative 800, okay? Depending on the quality of the, of the source, like the water that we're drinking. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, and you also mentioned something about like dead water. Yes. So the if something does not have a negative charge it's positive and it's dead living you know, living water is when it has that negative charge okay okay yeah it's so I, so no going. so if i do um when i do the demos with people and i show them uh i'll line up uh gatorade sprite tonic water perrier water um all of the things the only thing that will have a negative ORP with that reader is the Kangen water because it's gone through the electrolysis. The, that's the magic. Like it needs to have electrolysis. So where else are we getting this, these, like through our foods that are, are alkaline? Yes. But more, more and more we're eating, you know, vegetables and fruits that they might even be positive like if i put that orp reader in an orange just picked from a tree yes it will have a negative orp but if it's an orange that's been sitting there for two weeks before anyone's eating it probably not yeah you and know? What are, like <clears throat> like pesticides and all of those kinds of things too that would be on a lot of our fruit oh yes so so this machine yes to mm -hmm. answer that um mm -hmm. it doesn't just make it <clears throat> The 9.5 is the water that we drink, okay? It makes seven different pH waters. Um, and the, um, it also makes a water that is 11.5, which is a strong alkaline water. So it's like an, a degreaser, like an, an oil emulsifying water that strips the pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides off of our food. So, so you can clean, you can, you clean, can clean your food properly. Yes, because the, pre the pesticides they're using on our food are oil-based so that they don't wash off in the rain when they're in the fields, right? So when we get them and we think we're doing, you know, washing them with our tap water, you're not getting them off your food. Like if you soak them in the 11.5 and you see what is coming off your fruits and vegetables, it's, it's amazing. Wow. Like it, it, it looks like almost like if you know if a car leaks oil into a puddle and it looks like a rainbow, like mm -hmm. there that's what it looks like. It's wow. yeah, and it tastes different. Like when I bring a fruit platter to someone's house, all the time they, they say, Where did you get this fruit from? And it it's not where I got it from, it's how I washed it. So so Obviously, that's one benefit then of having the unit. Um, and then obviously, you're drinking really great, healthy water that's going to benefit you. There's also some like, there, it, it seems like it does a lot. Like there's beauty, aspects mm -hmm. of the water, there's, so what about, we all want to so, know the beautifying. Yes. Water. Okay. So <laughs> there, there's a beauty water is a 6.0 pH. So our, our skin, um, that is our, the pH of our skin. It's slightly acidic. So it's a great facial toner. So you will, 
you will stop buying things that maybe you once bought like household cleaners and glass cleaner and uh, your face toner, fruit and veggie wash. Um, what else? You use it for your plants, like beauty waters, like a lot of plants, they like a slightly acidic water. So your plants will look healthier. They will propagate themselves. Um, they just, they look shiny and happy because they're in their, you know, ideal environment when you're giving them this water. So you can use the beauty water in your hair. And if you pretty much look on anywhere, if you want to look up something that you can, you know, you, these machines are in spas around the world, um, you know, that have paid attention to this information and want the best for their clients. Um, I don't know if you have any probably in BC that for sure there would be some that, that use the uh, beauty water or hair salons that use it for, for the hair. Uh, I spray it, I spray it uh, like on my face after I have a shower and, and in my hair as well. And yeah, it's like the, there's so many different uses for this water. It's, it's just, it's life changing. I use my machine all day and you don't think like before I was buying bottled water. <clears throat> and if I were say making, you know, a pot of soup, you're, you're not so likely to think, oh, I should be putting, using my bottled water in my soup. Like people would just, you know, go to the tap. Like, no, that's in, that's going in your food. You're now eating, drinking, you know, making your soup out of the tap water. So it pulls the, when you use Kangen water to make your soup, it pulls the flavors out of your um, vegetables, like differently. So it tastes much better. So there's restaurants that use these machines and, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of hard sometimes to go out to eat knowing that the food isn't prepared the way that I'm used to preparing it. Like it's a mental thing. Like now that I'm aware, you know? Yeah, for sure. And probably like you can just sense it right away too. I noticed from the pH water, like that I've been, I've been on it for a couple of months. And mm -hmm. like, amazing. Definitely like had some detox sort of. Yes. When I had started on the water. Um, and prior to that, I was, I, there's a spring close to my house. So I was doing a lot of the spring water. I tested it. Um, mm -hmm. it was acidic. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, to get on this, but like, yeah, I just noticed I feel very energetic on it. Yeah. Just really clear, clear mind, brain, no brain fog, nothing. Yeah. Like it just feels so good. And then if I, and even around like tap water, I can, it's got a different smell, mm -hmm. right? Like it, it does. Smells, yeah. And so yes. I really notice like the difference. Yes. Between that. Yeah. You, we become hypersensitive once you go try to go back. Like I, I can't drink tap water. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. It's, <laughs> well, you know, it's amazing. Our bodies are made up of 80% water. Mm-hmm. So if our bodies are made up of, of that much water, I would think that it would be so important for us to think about the type of water that we're putting in. Mm -hmm. I like clear, right? We want to, yeah. Like I, I want to use the analogy of like, you know, if you had like a really fancy car, like a Ferrari, would you go and put like un, unleaded gas in it or when it takes premium? Like we need to start thinking of our bodies as our vehicles and start putting in the premium gas because that is what we run on. We, we run on these water, like we're made up of it. That's what, that's our gas. <laughs> I like that. That's a good analogy for sure. I mean, we really should try to be feeding ourselves effectively. I mean, if we want to maintain longevity in our health and I think, you know, you had mentioned that water is the most overlooked topic mm -hmm. in our and I absolutely would have to agree with you. Like 80% water, if we're, if we're made up of that much, I mean, it, it seems like the solution is rather simple. Mm -hmm. And so these, so these machines, how long is the, the life on them? So they have a five-year warranty. Okay. But they will last 25 plus years as long as you do the minimal maintenance that's required which is you have to change the charcoal filter when it tells you, which I personally, I, I just changed my filter. I got four months out of my filter. So that's three filters a year. Okay. 
-hmm. and and monthly you are to run an e it's called an e clean on your machine so it's like the equivalent of starting your dishwasher and why why you're running this through the machine this cleaning solution which is citric acid mixed with some water mixed with the clean i use the clean water in the tank right so it is so no mold or bacteria grow on the hoses or the or the platinum plates so that the mineral buildup is descaled off of them so that your your tap water that you're running through your machine has a good uh you know clean contact to produce the hydrogen and do its job split the water restructure the water molecule alkalize your water right so, so, you, so yeah so as long as you take care of it you take care of your investment and and it will i've, I've seen people have them for, for 35 years they're still and you know you can do your as long you can use your ph drops to make sure that the water is purple you can put your orp meter in there to make sure you have the negative 400 or higher and you'll know that your machine is lasting uh you know the test of time well that's it seems like a very viable investment i mean if yes you're buying bottled water that's right you if you do the math um it's it pays for itself quite quickly and you know, especially if you have a family with children and pets and, and you stop buying some household cleaners and your face toner and you, you know, you, it adds up. And like when I truly understood the value of this machine, I honestly felt like it cost me $5. People get scared about the price of them. Do not be scared. Like it's an investment and the value it holds is like there, this is the best thing I've ever bought in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell you that like well I know I'm definitely going to be investing um I like I said I've been on a friend of mine's water for a little bit mm -hmm. the benefits are, are it's night and day my, my son doesn't he doesn't know anything other than you know we, we've never really drank tap water yeah it's either been spring or we've got a spring that's sort of close by and our water is pretty good here in where where I am mm -hmm. um, still the acidity and and I had started researching more and more about this this pH and I just feel I just feel so much better like it's it's really definitely very noticeable um, and then you said something about the you can clean like you can clean your house with it too like yes you don't have to buy any okay I'm so, liking it <laughs> so and, and it's it, there, it's not toxic like if you think about the cleaners that some people like that are breathing in all the time like especially if you're say a house cleaner like cleaning cleaning companies are buying these machines to clean people's houses with these waters because when you're exposing yourself to breathing those chemicals in like that's not good long term either so this is um the 2.5 it's a strong acidic uh water it's a disinfecting it, it it's it smells like bleach believe it or not okay it comes off the acidic hose and it um is like a sterilizing uh you can use it for hand sanitizer it kills MRSA E. coli like it's it's oh. yeah it's met this is medical grade water that's it's used in in hospitals in japan so yeah really? it's amazing Brilliant. If I, if you get a, there's multiple uses too. So if yeah. I, if I get a sore throat, I actually take that, that same water I was just talking about the 2.5 and I will gargle with it at night and the next morning my sore throat will be gone every time. Sore throat coming on any of the kids here, gargle with the water, gone. Oh yeah, no, it just seems definitely, uh, seems like a bit of a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do all of that stuff. I kind of got into Norwex a little bit, and I liked their products because I don't I don't clean with any kind of chemicals or anything like that in the house. And it was similar. Like I mean, you can use, yes, they're like baking soda based or you know water, you know based. And so I you know got into that. And even if I use a cleaner in the house for something, that smell I'll yeah. get right away. Yeah. It, right and the smell just lingers almost for days it's like i can't get out that i know so it's so nice to be able to just have you know a chemical free home uh, yes be better for the kiddos too 
Yes. And if you want to have a little, you know, fresh scent, you can add a couple drops of essential oils to it. Thanks. And then, and then you don't get those. Like I, I, I can't do those, the fragrances in the, in like say bath and body soaps anymore. I just, I, I it gives me a headache. I can, I can say we're hypersensitive. Like I said, to these, the toxic chemicals. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I can't even my, even any beauty products that I use, they have to be holistically based. I can't like have to be a clay base or a min. you know what I mean? Like it can't be anything with, with major chemicals on it anymore. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, and then you had also told me a little bit yesterday about just some of the, what you've seen, like after people have been on the water, right? Yes. Do you, do you want to talk a couple examples? Yeah. I'll, so because the machines are sold through testimony alone, um, I like to share the stories of the people that um, I know firsthand that have had family members. Uh, the first person I sold the machine to, their, their mother-in-law lived with them. She was in her 80s and she had dementia, but she also was a, had diabetes. So... Um, nothing changed other than they switched her to the water, no diet, no excess exercise or anything like that. So about a week after the water, um, she started the water. They were, they were seeing that her numbers, her diabetic numbers were dropping quite quickly. So they started adjusting her insulin and metformin and four months of drinking the water, she was no longer on medication or on the diabetic charts. And they just, they, they couldn't believe it. Like they've written a testimony and they've shared their story uh, with me. And I was like, wow. So um, another one is I, I know um, someone that's in their mid twenties, he got his machine. He was on pain medication um, for a long time due to a, uh, back injury that he had mountain biking when he was younger and uh, this water s allowed him to slowly wean himself off of medication that he did not want to be on but felt helpless because he was in pain so um, another lady had really bad arthritis and you know it it reduces the inflammation and in her joints and she she can move better. Like she doesn't feel like she can get more done now because she's not sitting down trying to recover from her swollen knees. So, um, yeah, it's quite interesting. I have another girl that gave it to her dad every day. And, uh, she told me, she phoned me and she says, you know what, my dad, he's cutting back on smoking and he doesn't even want to drink beer anymore. And it, it really is like I've just noticed in life when when you make healthier choices and you start giving your body what it truly needs, the craving for those stimulants that might give you the instant, you know, like feel better, like, you know, like it, it yeah, it, it go you, you just truly feel good that you're not reaching for those things and they're probably not good habits, right? So... It's hard for to tell people to go cold turkey and, and stop, you know, some things that might, you know, they become addicted to. But if you switch, like, I can't think of anything simpler than telling people to change your water, change your water, change your life. Like, it, yes. it's that is why that is the company's slogan, because it's it's true to what it's it says. For sure. Well, I'm sold, Jade. <laughs> and I do want to say, um, <laughs> that the how it is influencing the planet mm -hmm. like before kangan before i had my kangan i i bought bottled water uh i went you know took my my blue bags to the recycling i have not bought a case of king of uh bottled water in five years if i go on a road trip i bring my water in jugs with me or i bring my machine with me it depends where i'm going and what my setup is where i'm at but I've, I've taken my machine to Costa Rica and set it up there. Like this is a global company and you know, it's, if you, if it really matters to you, you will, you will, you know, you will 
and it does like people my husband will laugh at me at first when I used to bring these jugs into hotels and now it's just he's used to it like I bring my I bring her water everywhere <laughs> oh that's funny so, Jade, if people uh want to find out more about you I I'm not able to see the the feed um I, I'm not sure why, but if people wanted to find out more about getting in contact with you, what would be the best way to do that? They can email me. Um, my email is my first and last name. So Jade Michelli mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Or they can uh, reach me on Facebook Messenger. And if they want to look at... Uh, the different models of machines or anything like that, they can always go to the, our website, which is enagic.com. And then they can, they can message me. I can send them videos. I can have a zoom call with them or I can answer any, any questions they might have. Okay. Sorry. Enagic. Um, that is E N A G I C. Well, Jade, thank you very much for bringing this out, um, you know, this information to people. I hope that, uh, you know, there's, there's somebody out there that's going to benefit from this, and I'm quite certain that there is. So, <clears throat> you know, we really appreciate, I appreciate the information, even talking with you yesterday. I learned so much. Um, and, yeah, it's just uh, wonderful that you were able to, to come and chat today. So thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I just wanted to share a quote that I really like, um, mm -hmm. just to do with health in general. Um, it's, um, a man with his health has a thousand wishes, and a man without his has only one. So if you pay attention to what really matters and you get, you know, your water right, I think that you're setting yourself up for, for to be healthier and prosper, prosperous and, you know, live a, I don't like to see people suffer. So if, if there's a solution out there, then, then, you know, pay attention to what matters. Well, thank you. That's beautiful. And you're glowing. You're glowing. I know the, the, the sun, the sun just started coming off. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, it's so nice to connect, Hen. Thanks so much for coming on. And, Thanks for having um, me. Yeah, we'll talk again soon. Okay, sounds good. Take care, Jade. Okay, bye. bye.